Hey guys, so today's video is an accessories haul. Um, what's up, Peter? And Peter says hi. Say hi. He's too worried about the people outside and what they're up to. He's like, who is that bastard? <laughs> can I can I film now, please? I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I've bought recently and some stuff that I've received from uh, PR companies. Basically, it's going into autumn here. Um, well, it's basically winter, I swear to God. We didn't even have an autumn, let alone even a summer, really, here in New Zealand. It's just been so cold all the time. We're finally going to, like, winter fashion, which I honestly get so excited about. I love winter fashion. I think it's a lot more, like, more styling. You can just wear a lot more colours and accessorise with all the outfits that you wear. So I always get super excited for winter. So I've got a ton of really cool shoes, heaps of sunnies, some really cool fragrances. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys what I recently got. And of course you will notice I've got a different background. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or even watch some of my recent videos, you will know that Trent and I have sold our home and we're currently renting. Since I've like finished work the last two weeks, I've literally just been packing up the house, moving, unpacking. I painted the back drop wall. Actually, I painted the whole room um, because it was like this fugly as dark green. So it looks a little bit more fresh now. I don't know if this is going to be my permanent background. I'm just kind of playing with the lighting in the room just to see what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get cracking into it. So I thought I'd start off with fragrance and before I go into any of the other fragrances, I just wanted to talk exclusively quickly to my US subscribers. I have so many of you guys and a lot of you may have seen that I've worked with Scentbird before. Uh, this is a sponsored feature into my video. Unfortunately they don't at the moment do international so really sorry to all my other subscribers but I think it's a really great little exclusive for my US viewers. So they are a monthly subscription company where you kind of like try before you buy. They've got like 450 or even more fragrances that you can choose from. So I'm so stoked because they sent me the new Mon Galan, which everyone I feel at the moment is like talking about online. Like I feel like I'm the only person who hasn't like smelt it. I can't even explain how beautiful it is. Like I was very overwhelmed actually by how elegant and like vanilla -y it is. It's Definitely like my kind of smell. It's definitely something I would wear more for like nighttime, like if like Trent and I were going on a date or something. But yeah, it's real cool. Like you literally just twist it up and down. And then to get to the actual vial of it, you just twist the top and it pops out. And it will have the name of the product there. And it says that you get a decent amount of 8 mils. So it's a really good concept. I think it's only like $14.99. And they've also offered me a discount code, which I'll just link here for you guys to check out. I think you'll get about like 25% off. So that's really great for my US subscribers. And then I have two other fragrances that I really wanted to talk about, of course. Flower Bomb is one of the most renowned, well-known fragrances of all time, I swear, but they've just recently launched their Bloom, and I actually like this one way more, and I'm not even, like, a floral essence kind of person. Like, I rate this way more than the original, and I really do like the original, but there's something about this where the uh, floral essence in it really just kind of neutralizes that overpowering sweetness in Flower Bomb and it's just really elegant. And the other one that I've recently picked up is the White Tea by Elizabeth Arden. This is really new. Of course, Elizabeth Arden are really well known for like their red door and to me that's like a massive like nana smell and I won't go near it. <laughs> um, but I was pleasantly surprised when I was still working at the pharmacy to try this when it came out and it's so beautiful. There's something about it that's so youthful. It's kind of like this lemongrassy, um, fresh smell about it and I really like it because it's not overwhelming like I'll chuck this on in the morning and I don't get a headache um, it's very modern for Elizabeth Adden in my opinion and I think it's really cool but when it comes to footwear I really wanted to show you guys these boots I was so stoked with this buy I got these from Glassons these are their khaki sock boots and they have this really beautiful um, bandage material about them. So they cut the ankle really beautifully. And they give this really nice elongated look to your legs. Like they made my legs look so long. Just because they really, really cling to your ankle. I bought this for the Mickey Maximo launch in Wellington. I wore these all day and they were super comfortable. And they go with so many things. So I topped up on a stack of shoes from Amy Clubwear. Um, this is a super affordable uh, website. Uh, so I thought I would just uh, buy a couple of flats and a couple of boots for winter. So I picked up these super cute loafers from Amy Clubwear. These, anything that really has like a leopard print and it's an accessory, I kind of like fall in love with instantly. Um, so these are super cute. I'm really into loafers. I actually just bought 
Um, some silver ones from Ruby Shoes, which I'm obsessed with as well. But I thought they're just really cute, just to chuck on with like, you know, a black pair of jeans. You want some flats that are just a little bit quirky, and they have this really beautiful gold trim on them as well. So I'm obsessed. I'm so happy with these. They're so cute. I've seen heads of influencers wear these in a clear, um, as a clear boot, but I got the black ones just for, ow! <laughs> they're kind of like calf high boots, they're like not a knee high, they're not ankle, they kind of like just cover your calf and like don't necessarily come very close to your knee, like it's a real awkward <laughs> length truthfully. Um, and then you do have the um, clear heel, they're really cool, I actually really like them, I think they're just something a little bit different, I don't know if they're going to be like ideal to walk in for too long, um, but I don't know, I think I'll wear these down to Wellington next week for the uh, next counter launch um, at Lapton Key. And of course the other pair that I picked up were very similar sock boots, um, unfortunately when I had bought my Glassons ones, I had already ordered these ones but I was in Wellington and my shoes, these shoes hadn't arrived yet and I was in Wellington for the Mecca opening so I ended up buying the um, sock shoes from Glassons but now I have two pairs um, that are actually almost identical, it's crazy. Um, truthfully. The material is way better in the Glassons um, shoes, but I really, really like the khaki. Like, I'm really digging khaki at the moment, so, you know, if one gets ruined, I have the other one, which is great. <laughs> so, again, while I was down in Wellington, I actually popped into Beauty Bliss. I didn't even realise, like, I know Beauty Bliss had a website. I actually didn't realise that they had a store. Um, I <laughs> just randomly happened to be walking past it on my day off while I was down there. Um, and I popped in, saw some of the girls, and, of course, you can already see I've used a couple, but... I picked up some of these really cute unicorn brushes. I see them again online all the time. I just think they're uber cute. They're only like 38 bucks. And I was like, ugh. I kind of just couldn't help myself with these. I was like, oh my god, unicorn brushes. I just have to have them. I don't need them, but I need them. Like... <laughs> I am such a big sucker for sunglasses, it's not even funny. Uh, so I have about four different pairs here that I've recently picked up. A couple of key, similar specs, and mink pink. So I'll start off with these ones. These are the Desi um, collaboration with Key. You would have recently seen that these are a new addition to the line. Um, I picked these up from Charlotte Lane. And I really like them, just because you can actually see your eyes through them. I really love that kind of like um, see-through lens that is coming through at the moment. Like I really want to get the um, purple the blue or the red ombre ones as well where it's like ombre at the top and then it fades clear at the bottom I think it's so good so like like it reminds me of like Charlie's Angels or something so I also picked up this pair as well from um, Charlotte Lane these are another pair of her key glasses and I'm sure a lot of you New Zealand girls know Giovanna Belling she's a YouTuber here in New Zealand uh, she's got roughly about 100,000 uh, subscribers and she's also got her own little boutique shop in Taupo. She's just such a beautiful person. I honestly love her to death and she's just recently sent me a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of clothing which I'm going to film another day for you guys but I really wanted to show you the accessories that she sent me. So she sent me these mink pink glasses which just like a basic aviators that have like a pinky yellow tinge to them. And then she sent me these really, whoa, are they wonky? Oh, have I got a crooked nose? <laughs> What is going on here? What? Are these not sitting right? What is going on? What the f is going on here? And then she's also sent me these like classic black sunnings from Le Spec. So I love those. Those will just be like that real cool chic um, finished technique outfit. She also sent me these really beautiful double sided earrings. Like I actually have never worn a pair like this before. So, um, she also sent me this super cute little like key ring bag chain like I can't decide if I'm gonna put it on my bag or on my chain I think it's a bag I think it's really a bag accessory this one it's just too big for my keychain and saying that I love things that are a little bit extra when I'm carrying them around but I've already got one in black so I'm gonna just pop it to my my purse but I'm gonna get that so dirty so there you go guys there is my accessories haul I really hope you've enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a part of it and don't forget to come follow me on my social medias and come say hello I always love chatting to you guys if you've got any questions or any video requests uh, feel free to comment down below it's always really great to see what you guys would like to see from me and I haven't thought of so it's really good to interact and let me know what you guys want to see next um so yeah Hope you guys all have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye!